is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. P is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. K is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. K is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. D, 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 d. Enough! Enough! You better start talking, asshole. Cause we got shit we need to talk about. Right, we're back. The D cast. And this week, surprise, surprise, everybody, it's Teaspoon. Hey, <laughs> <So>, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Teaspoon's on again. Uh, I think it's the fourth time now, if I'm not mistaken. Man. Right? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, if I don't think people are getting tired of you. I think they like it. <laughs> I certainly hope not. Uh, yeah, they, they ha- kind of have to get used to it because uh, Jake might be a frequent guest down here quite a bit <laughs> yep so get used to teaspoon you'll be here for a little while <laughs> haters are gonna hate right and uh players gonna play sir <laughs> so yeah um but last week we were talking about me and teaspoon we're talking about we're gonna watch a movie and then talk about it. I don't know. Compare it, contrast it, review it. Well, I just figured that we always end up talking about movies anyway, right? And there's like other podcasts out there that kind of like watch movies and review it, or Indeed. just talk about it. So I thought, hey, let's try it out. Right, and we're going with the classic movie. I mean, pretty awesome movie, right? Actually. <laughs> uh, so last week we decided I think we were talking about Raiders of the Lost Ark but we decided on Temple of Doom so right so we're just going to kind of break it down we both watched it well not together <laughs> <laughs> we both went to the movie private screening <laughs> he bought the popcorn you know <laughs> but anyway you got the seven yeah you know you know but uh so yeah, we're gonna review if it was the best, the worst. If it was eh, I got a bunch of. <laughs> Is I that your a, rating system? <laughs> yeah, it's only three. Uh, you know, good, not good, good, not good, and eh. Oh, good, not eh. good, and eh. Meh. Okay, okay. Something like that. I'll I'll work on it. Okay. No, that's better than I have. I didn't even think about that. You didn't even have a rating system, did you? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> so yeah, so let's You're more prepared. Right? You gotta be more prepared next time, Teaspoon. I do. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just gonna actually this time I prepared quite a bit. You did, you actually was, took we were notes. Talking, yeah, we were t- I'm talking earlier that I actually took notes. Yeah. I probably wrote more things down than I have my entire career of high school. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. This was a real assignment, I'd say. Right? Yeah. I got my, um, uh, shit, what are those rulers, or those notebooks called? The <laughs> black and white. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. It looks like a fuzzy TV yeah. screen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have those back in school. Did you? Yep. I always wanted the metal ring binder thing. I hated those, man. How? Because they would always, like... Are you talking about the ones that, like, clamp together violently? No, no, no. no. Those are horrible. Yeah. What are you talking (laughs) about? I'm talking about the ones with, like, the metal spiral on the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are good. That's what I'm using right now. That's uh, my notepad. Oh, shit. Yeah. (laughs) If you listen closely. I got a black one. And maybe blue. <laughs> maybe blue. <laughs> no, mine's cardboard brown. Like, it's actual cardboard. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> it's cool, though. It comes with, like, a little pin slot. By the way, this is just super exciting stuff. It is. I'm telling you, man. This notebook. <laughs> screw that movie. No. Yeah, let's get into it, man. Jesus. Rambling on. All right, all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, so I'm not going to go through all these bullet points right here, but we'll get to them as we go along. All so, right. Um, to start probably off, just start at the beginning. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, is it, in your opinion, the best or the worst? Or is it? <laughs> I would say not. It, it's right in the middle. Okay. Like, I would say, and this isn't this isn't including the uh, that shitty Crystal Skull one. We're not including that. No, it's not even Indiana Jones. Yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even count. Right. Um, just, just the trilogy. Right. Right. I would say Raiders of the Lost Ark is probably my top. Really. Then. Last Crusade than this movie, so I guess in that sense it's the worst. See, mine. But I still really like it. Yeah, my first two are switched. My favorite's Last Crusade. Really? Yeah, that one's badass. Okay, I love that one. And Raiders yeah. Lost Ark is second, and then this one's third. So I guess it's okay, the worst okay. of the trilogy, then. I guess. <laughs> Okay. We're not really saying much because like, it's still a good movie. It is. It is a good movie. I dig it. Yeah. It was a it was a quite a throwback. Throwback. Right? Like rewatching it? Yeah. I haven't watched it in a while. Me oh, too. Cool. Like right. uh I had watched Last Crusade, I think. Was the last one I watched and that was a while ago. Like yeah. for some reason I always forget about Temple of Doom. Yeah, for I don't know. Yeah, it's a weird one. Like Temple of Doom is the weirdest of the trilogy. Definitely weird and super dark. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Because when I started watching so it, dark. I was like, ah, oh, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> short round. I remember short round. Yeah. Yeah. Little kid sidekick. Yeah, they're about to go on an adventure. Okay. This is gonna be fun. And right, then, Indiana and, Jones. Yeah, and then like <laughs> halfway through, a dude's getting his heart ripped out and then burnt alive. Exactly. And child slaves. Yeah, child <laughs> slaves. And <laughs> Which, by the way, why wouldn't you take the adults? They can work harder and longer. Like, yeah, like what's up with that? <laughs> like kids aren't going to work that long, I, w- I wouldn't think. Like, I they're wouldn't a- think that before they die, Seriously? which is just horrible to think about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like where? Uh, yeah, like that'll get dark. Actually, like where do they put the little kids' bodies? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, because you know they put them in that giant water container, <laughs> or they probably just put them in the lava pit. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's probably a yeah, pretty. The quick. lava pit is the sweeping it under the rug to them. <laughs> right, pretty much. <laughs> Clean them up. <laughs> it's like the vacuum. Does that work if the thing's already dead as a human sacrifice? I don't think so. I think I, I think that's not. the whole I think that's the whole point. Like you have to be alive I to guess. be sacrificed kind of thing. Right, okay. And then you die. <laughs> Which I don't know, it scares the fuck out of me. What? Being <laughs> like, sacrificed? Yeah. The whole human sacrifice. Yeah. Like that's great. how did that catch on? <laughs> 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 yeah, like what happened? <laughs> like, <laughs> where did they go wrong? <laughs> where they were super okay with that? <laughs> I don't know, man. There must have been drugs or something back then. I guess. To make you know what it made me think of what? is that um, Mel Gibson movie that came out a couple of years ago about the Aztec. Oh yeah, that was weird, man. That wasn't in a lot of human sacrifice, or not. What was it? A lot of human sacrifice in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about like that movie. people's heads off. What was that movie called? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think Apollo. Every, no, I, yeah, it, start, the, it's, it starts with an A, I think, right? I don't know. People know what we're talking about. All right. The Indian movie that Mel Gibson directed. Exactly. Just Google that. <laughs> it should come up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, back to the temp- Temple of Doom. So, 
We were saying but, it's, the, it's the weirdest of the trilogy because it's just, I don't know, because it is like a little group of people, like Short Round and Willie. And the girl, Willie Scott. Yeah. Who was also, like, like, all the other ones are kind of like lighthearted and fun. This one is dark as fuck. Yeah, this one gets pretty <laughs> dark, man. Like, even the other ones get dark, like. Raiders of the Lost Ark when the those one. people's faces melted. Oh my god. Like when I was a kid and I <laughs> right. saw that. This one definitely scared me as a kid more than the other one. Really? Yeah. Oh man. I don't know. I just thought it was like more like, holy shit, this could happen. Because of the, <laughs> <laughs> like the uh, pulling the heart out of someone's chest kind of thing? It was more along the lines of like, Lost Ark and Last Crusade was like magical, mystical powers, you know? Okay. This was like just crazy fucked up people cutting That's people's true. hearts out. That's true. <laughs> and burning them. And burning them, yeah. <laughs> like, For don't real? get me wrong, the magic rocks played a part, but like... <laughs> they didn't really have anything evil to that, do. Yeah, you know? that's true. Like, it didn't really have superpowers or anything. Right. And also, this one dealt with children. Yeah. Whereas the other ones were, like, all adults. And Nazis. Uh, yeah, and Nazis. Yeah. Like, there weren't any Nazis in this one, which is cool. I mean, but... It is cool that they kind of, like, broke that up a bit. Yeah, but it's, it's weird, because it's, like, a gap, almost. You know what I mean? I guess, yeah. But well, you, we were talking earlier, yeah. like, if you look at the timelines of the movie... Right. This one actually comes first. Right. So, yeah, that's something to think about. <laughs> also something to think about, like, this is like, well, I guess it's not Indiana Jones' first adventure. Because they talk about, like, yeah, going there's, on other there, ones. There's that Chinese kid at uh, the beginning of Temple of Doom. <laughs> the get, poor guy. They get <laughs> shot right off the bat. And he's like, <laughs> like his last words, like, Indy, I've been on so many adventures with you. And like, what, where? Yeah, I, go, I go to this one alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, where was he though? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. I've never exactly. heard about him. <laughs> Lao She, Jesus. Oh, that fucker! <laughs> Damn you, you know Lao Shay. That, like, that table of guys is like always like those are the Asian guys that they use at that time. You know what I mean? Right. Like the Asian mafia. Like in every movie where there was an Asian guy. They'd have one of those dudes. <laughs> yeah, like his uh, entourage. <laughs> the Asian yeah, entourage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's always got to be an Asian entourage. I guess. Right? Also, something we should talk about. You should name this podcast Anything Goes. <laughs> oh, my God. And put the song in. <laughs> there you go. You can do that. <laughs> You know, actually, I was thinking, like, we're going to back up a sec when I was talking about uh, T-Smooth's going to be a pre pretty f uh, frequent guest on here. And, like, should I make an intro for you, too? That'd be cool. Uh, if you want to, that's more <laughs> up to you, man. I just got to figure it out because I was thinking, like, hmm, that'd be kind of cool because I was thinking of uh, Spoon Man by Soundgarden. What is it? Spoon Man. You've heard the song. Oh, have I? Okay. Yeah. But I'll, I'll use a sampling of that if I don't get copyrighted, you know. So. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But anyway, Temple of Doom. Maybe an outro. Y yeah, something. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Because I technically leave before you do. Because you have to, like, say, you know, subscribe, like. Right, right. Okay. Maybe. I'll think on it. I'll come up with something. But anyway. <laughs> Anything goes. Anything goes. <laughs> I'll say that uh, China. Which, okay, that's a weird thing. This one starts out with a musical number. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good musical number. Which, yeah, I, I think it's good. <laughs> but really, the whole point of it is just to establish that this girl's a singer. The girl. Yeah, the girl Willie Scott. Like she's a singer. She's a performer. Right. You know, that's really the only reason. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's a good introduction, I guess. I think so, yeah. yeah. And, uh... Like... Oh, go ahead. I was just saying, like, when the fight breaks out. 
and uh, that That's uh, a pretty cool fight. Yeah, but like, but when he uh, chops the wheel and it starts rolling. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the bullets are hitting it. Like, I love that. Uh, yeah, what's up with that? Like, they're going yeah. in a circle. Yeah, I don't know how they did that, but, like, they made that, like, practical effect. That's Look pretty real. crazy. I don't know. It looked cool to me. Also, that guy is completely insane that's shooting the Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> At a wheel? Like, just how he's doing it. At a gong? You know? <laughs> <laughs> For real. They'll probably ricochet off and if you think about also, it. And also, Indiana Jones kills a guy with a kebab. Oh yeah, the flaming kebab. <laughs> it's like that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> million, one of the million ways to die, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Who would have thought? Right. So yeah. So I mean, out of these movies, you ha- we have the we're introduced to the the damsel in distress. Say what? The damsel in distress we're introduced to. Um, right. Go figure. She's from Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but also she got from Missouri somehow to Singapore, China. Yeah. Where's that backstory at? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean, I think she was she was annoying as shit. The character itself, but you know, she was a good character for the movie. Okay, I wrote this down in my notes. We're supposed to believe that, like, this character is, like, this super hot blonde blonde, bombshell. Mm Mm-hmm. I really don't find her attractive whatsoever. Really? (laughs) Really? Dude, (laughs) I find her really attractive. Really? I mean, maybe she had, like, a crazy crazy 80s hairdo or something, but... Why (laughs) (laughs) Why don't you find her attractive? I don't know, just, like... Her personality and like her voice. <laughs> For real, she's always screaming. And also, she can nag the like, pain off the, the walls. The way she looks. The Say way what? she looks. Yeah, the way she looks. I don't know. It just. It is very like 1930s Pulp Fiction type girl. Yes. But I don't know. I just don't find her that attractive. Hmm. Oh man. I don't know what I don't to know. tell you. I don't know what to tell you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Were you, like, during all this horrible shit, were you watching her just like, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> you get dirty with that Yeah, bug. Willie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't play with my Willie. <laughs> no, like, I, fe- I felt the same way. But, like, I still found her attractive, but I felt the same way. Like, she was an annoying character. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, she would not shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think she's the only one that Indiana Jones doesn't fuck in the movie. Yeah, that's right. I don't think I don't think they like do. He, she's the only girl lead. Yeah, I think so. Because he he had um they and almost, the they first almost one they have sex, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think. I don't know. And then the last one was that uh German girl. Yeah. And, uh... So, I don't know, maybe the Indy didn't think she was uh, all well, that attractive either. Well, they almost did. They almost <laughs> did have sex, but he he touched oh. that he touched that statue and, uh... <laughs> like, yeah. That, that statue got more action than she yeah. did. Yeah. What's up with that? I have no idea what that was up with. <laughs> Also, I don't know if you noticed, but, like, I think the ripping out the heart thing is something that happens with every sacrifice. You think so? But uh, as soon as she got in there, yeah, they didn't rip her heart old Moloch. <laughs> yeah, they didn't rip her heart Getting out. ready to fill up some titties. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, nope, never mind. Damn you, Spielberg. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> So that's one, uh, I mean, maybe they just don't do it to women. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe. Maybe they don't sacrifice a whole lot of women. Maybe. Yeah, because I don't think there were any women in there. Were there? I was going to say, like, I didn't see too many. Yeah. So, mainly <laughs> dudes. <laughs> Sausage fest. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, 
what they talk about. <laughs> Man, where's all the chicks? Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so let's get the short round, man. Short round. Short round. Short round. Oh, he's the best. One of the best sidekicks ever. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. He's yeah. totally proactive about everything. And I, I kind of <laughs> was noticing too that uh, this is like Harrison Ford's Chewbacca in this one, kind of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Like Harrison Ford seems to have like a sidekick usually. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's like most famous movies. He always has a sidekick, basically. <laughs> With a cool nickname. What's a cool nickname? Yeah. Chewy, Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, short, a short round. round. <laughs> short round, <laughs> Mister Round. But yeah, that dude's a badass. Yeah. Like he's like fighting off villains and like. Seriously. Also, a weird thing: he's always carrying Indiana Jones's luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe I don't know if you noticed. Maybe that's like what's short rounds. Background, <laughs> short rounds. Background. Short rounds. Background. It's <laughs> sounds like a good. It's like a good segment for something on this show. Say what now? Should be like a segment for something on this show. <laughs> oh, we guess short rounds. Background. The short round background. <laughs> but yeah, they don't really explain it. Like, what is he there for? Maybe he is there just to cut well, uh, carry Indy's luggage? Indiana Jones says uh, he found him trying to pick his pocket. Oh yeah, that's right. What am I thinking? Yeah, but, like, okay, he could just be like, hey, kid, don't do that. Yeah. And, and like, then walk away. <laughs> and, like, in order, uh, like, so he made him carry his luggage instead, is what we're getting to. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how he I paid think, his way, I don't know. I guess. <laughs> and, like. But, yeah. like, short round, like, normally, like, kids' sidekicks don't do anything, but short rounds yeah. in there, like, doing karate moves and Dude, shit. short rounds in there, kicking ass, pulling... Taking names. Pulling one-liners. <laughs> right? Pull, uh, the best. Which I got a few quotes, <laughs> just because I thought uh, they were amusing. So I should uh, hold on to my potato? Yeah, that's, uh, I think, yeah, that's the first one I have written down, actually. Good job, Teaspoon. Well, there you go. <laughs> So hold on to your potato. <laughs> Which okay, what does that mean? Um I guess hold on to your balls. Right? Maybe. Hold was on to he your potato. About balls? Was Shorty talking about balls? I don't know. Was that like was that was that slang back in the eighties? Maybe. Hold on to your potato. I guess it should be slang back in the thirties. But... Oh nice. <laughs> Good one. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, I guess they really couldn't say, hold on to your hat. Or they could have said, uh, oh, no, never mind. That's not the same thing. Hold your horses, I was thinking of. That's a different... It's a different meaning, sir. It's a different meaning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, hold on to your potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Um <laughs> <laughs> No more parachute. That's another one. No more parachute. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, which okay, and that seemed like they take a lot of time to get out of that airplane. Yeah, and how do you they not I mean? hear them when they open that door? And the feathers. Yeah, are and all around. the chickens yeah. and stuff. <laughs> how do you not just like open your eyes and like what's that kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, there's a sudden <laughs> gust of wind on an airplane. <laughs> Stewardist. Ring and, the bell. okay, I guess they only had the two parachutes for the pilot. It's not like the pilot threw out the parachute with them. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so that's crazy. Which, uh, and also, how did Short Round know to look at, the, like, for parachutes? You know what I mean? Hey, man, that's what he's there for. He's Short Round. I guess, yeah. He's got, like, he, he's got shit covered. Right? He's got to be on that shit. <laughs> Evidently, like any other jumps didn't even have to say, uh, you know, Shorty, go look for parachutes. Like we're crashing. He automatically did. Yeah. Like he didn't even have to tell him. Like. <laughs> also, wouldn't it be horrible if there was just two parachutes? 
<laughs> and they had to make that decision. Sorry, short <laughs> round. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, poor Shorty. Which one do you think he chooses? I think he'd choose short round, to be honest. Honestly, I think he'd try to save everybody. Like, yeah. that would be the heroic thing. Like, like they did in the movie. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> Which, like, the fucking, Only, uh, the raft boat? Yeah. Save? I don't know about that. Like, they didn't even try to attempt to explain that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, this might work, this might not work, kind of thing. Right, like, okay, <laughs> I could see if they were, like, holding it upside down. Yeah. And the air was like coming up and slowing yeah. them down before That's what they, they should have Yeah, because it looked like they were sinking. Right, yeah. <laughs> or like you could do the movie excuse of like, oh, we hit a body of water. Right. Or like, you know, in their case, snow, right? Or no, they hit water. Oh, no, they hit well, snow. Well, they hit snow, then yeah. they hit water. Yeah. They fell twice. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Movie magic. I guess. I'm just I, saying, like, you could cut one of those falls out. I don't know if I'd go yeah. for that. I'd try and land the plane first, I think. That, yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> I would think, like, Indiana Jones, he's looking at it, he's like, okay, tachometer, and, you know, like, your height and all that, and, like, your fuel gauge. Right. And, like, it had a bit. Indeed. Like, it didn't have a whole lot, but a bit. Seems kind of simple, <laughs> I guess. Maybe a little... If you would have closed the fuel dump thing, they probably True. could have gone for a little bit. Yeah. Isn't there like a close hatch button? <laughs> I would imagine. Well, uh, one of the pilots pulls, pulls a lever. Oh, does he? It says fuel dump, and then it shows like the engine dumping all the fuel. Why Why would there be such a thing on a plane? <laughs> you I know mean, what? That's a good you question. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless like you're already on the ground, you need to get the fuel out. But even still, I figured, like, there's got to be a different way to do that. Right. You know, like, stick a hose down there and then, like, a pump it out type thing? Yeah. Something. Like, you're not going to use a fuel dump in, like, on the landing pad because it's going to go everywhere. Yeah. I mean, at least take fuel out and have it transfer to, like, another tank or something. You know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. (laughs) Jesus. I want to know if that's an actual thing on planes today. Or back then. I don't know. I could see back then. I mean, if it was in the movie, I'd imagine it's real. Yeah, but what purpose does it serve? Yeah. <laughs> what in like, God's that name? That's the one thing you don't want to happen. <laughs> Accidentally hit that <laughs> fucking button? Yeah. Yeah, that would just be horrible. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if it's like a, you know, in every like pirate movie or book, like they're on the seas and they're getting chased down and they're uh-huh. like, oh, we got to lose the weight. Yeah. And they start dumping things overboard. Yeah. Is it like that, maybe? I could, I don't think so. Like, yeah, like that can't be. It can't be. A reason. <laughs> but in, enough of this plane. <laughs> okay. <all right. laughs> um, I just got two more quotes here from Short Round. Gotcha. Um, the part where they're walking on the bugs. And he says, uh, oh, yeah. Feel like fortune cookies. <laughs> and uh, my favorite quote is when they're on the bridge. And he says, He no nuts. He's crazy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, short round. Those short round. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that'd be crazy. <laughs> it's a good quote. <laughs> oh man, I dig it. So yeah. Why do you think they chose fortune cookie? Because he's Asian. Just because he's Asian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's another thing. Like we were talking about that last week with the uh, fresh off the boat thing. Yeah. This is like one of those like same reasons almost. Like, that's why everybody loves Short Round. He's Asian? Yeah, because he has a funny accent. He says funny things. 
I'm not trying to. What? Yeah, I'm not trying to sound racist, but it's true. Come on, yeah. man. Think like, about it. Rams always there to help. He's kicking ass. <laughs> like <laughs> that's what I like. I'm, don't get me wrong. I laugh at some of the things he says. <laughs> But that's why I'm a major Not because reason. he's Asian. <laughs> like, I'm Maybe totally it's... on board. Hey, he's a good With character. This kid. Say what? I said he's a good character, but I'm just saying. Uh, agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Teaspoon's Team Asian. <laughs> Say what? I said Teaspoon's Team Asian. <laughs> Oh man! I like fried rice. <laughs> hey, I like fried rice. I fuck with it. So yeah, so good old short round. So <laughs> short round's the best, right? Short round driving a car. Short round driving a like car, man. And he has the uh, the wood blocks on the bottom of his shoes. On his feet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's driving the um, uh, the rickshaw cart or whatever. That he like hit. Which one? Oh yeah, the uh. Um, he's the, driving the street and he hits that guy. Yeah, he hits the guy that's uh, carrying the. Yeah. Like he's one of those <laughs> cart pullers or whatever. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> also, like that scene has like all those classic like car chase scene things. Yeah. It was a nice car, Like, he too. hits, you know, like, uh, a bucket of oranges or whatever. Like, somebody's in the way and he <laughs> has to hit them. People move out of the way just in time. Right, right. <laughs> the bad guys crash into a fruit stand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One has, like, an apple in his mouth or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd do that. How come they haven't done that? What, the apple in like, the mouth? that's a good idea. I'm sure they thought about it. Like, I don't know. I haven't seen that. That's a good idea. Wait, what are you talking about? Like the apple in the mouth? Yeah, like in a comedy. I think it's movie. been done. It's ha- it would have had to been. I would think. You Maybe would it think, has- but I've never seen it. Like it's such a simple, good idea. There's got to be a movie. Hey, I can't think of any either. But there's got to be one. All right. I don't know. There might not be. <laughs> Let's make a movie. There may not be. Teaspoon, we're going to make a movie. And we're yeah. going to have some guy crash into an apple stand. <laughs> right, right. And, and when he gets up, <laughs> he's going to have an apple in his mouth. <laughs> and then he's, go- he's going to take a bite, brush his shoulders off, and then say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And walk off. Oh, <laughs> that is perfect. I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> oh my god, genius! So we'll, we'll, I'll have to. Drill you, dude, dude. We'll have to like put that in high def or something. That's so good, right? I think so. I'll work on it. I'll write that one down. <laughs> I'll work it. Oh, I'm writing it down now. Apple. <laughs> I think our work is done. <laughs> <laughs> and the podcast is uh, over. No, I'm just playing. Is it and the podcast is over? No. <laughs> That's all we needed. Yeah, we right, so, one idea. So where were we on the uh, <laughs> Temple of Doom here? Oh, um, uh, car chasing. The car chasing. Which ends at them at the airport with Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd, man. Which of I never people. noticed. I never noticed. Say what? I never noticed that, like, until the last time what? I watched it. And that I, when I heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, you don't see him close up, but if you listen, you're like, oh, that is Dan Aykroyd. That's definitely Dan Aykroyd. Right. Really. <laughs> So yeah, so that's cool. Like, I wonder why him. I don't know. Was he on set that day? I don't know. Maybe it was just kind of like a little quiet cameo. Cause, cause I think Ghostbusters probably came in around that time, right? 
You think that's what it is? It might be. Maybe just because he was in everything, like slip him into Indiana Jones. What could hurt? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> So long, Lashe. <laughs> Ring shuts the door. <laughs> so <Lashe>. good. <laughs> it is. It's like a good twist at the right at the beginning. It really of the movie. is. <laughs> then you get the the famous like where it shows the map and the red line thing. Right, the classic uh, transportation montage. Right. <laughs> so good. Uh, oh, the dinner scene. Dinner scene. The dinner scene. That crazy ass dinner scene. <laughs> we're not even there yet. <laughs> Where are we? I mean, yeah, we're talking about the plane part, but we already talked about the uh, raft part too. I guess you got a point. What about the villagers? <laughs> <laughs> the villagers. <laughs> and the Indian Doc Brown. <laughs> The Indian Doc Brown. That does. The guy does look like an Indian Doc Brown. Seriously, right? <laughs> I have a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, gonna throw you in my DeLorean and gun it to eighty-eight. <laughs> Who needs a time machine? <laughs> I like the way you move. <laughs> Oh man! So yeah, the villagers. <laughs> There's like a Indian version of Marty McFly. Right, I can see it. <laughs> He's got like the raft of that thing. Dude, there probably is like a parody of Back to the Future in India. With all Indian cast. <laughs> yeah, because I mean they have Bollywood there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, I think they make like the most movies out of any country. So. I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. So. There's bound to be a Back to the Future ripoff in there somewhere. Sure. Right? <laughs> or a parody or but something. But before we get to the dinner thing, one thing I did want to talk about. Mm-hmm. They use way too many elephants. <laughs> elephants? <laughs> okay, whatever they're going to Pancock Palace. Yeah, they had three, right? They each have an elephant. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they all they could have <laughs> rode on one elephant. Yeah, they could all just ride on one elephant. Like, I don't know. What a waste. I, maybe it's like custom <laughs> there. Like that one person can. Yeah. Only ride an elephant. Like you're in our country, you get your own elephant. Like while you're here. <laughs> like you're our guest kind of thing. Here's an elephant. <laughs> Be our guest. Put our elephants to the test. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like, what a waste of resources. Yeah. <laughs> Put them all on one elephant. <laughs> Get on with it. Back in the Pancock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. They could have. But granted, we would not be able to see the adorable short round and his tiny little elephant. <laughs> and you know what else? <laughs> when they get to the palace. Yeah. Isn't there, like, one guide with them? That one guy has to take all those elephants back? Like... (laughs) (laughs) Exactly, yeah. yeah. (laughs) One elephant would be so much more manageable on the return trip. (laughs) Yeah, could you imagine trying to walk back three elephants? Wrangle three elephants? (laughs) (laughs) Like, Uh, granted, I realize they're trained. Yeah. But still... Still, it's a lot to handle. It's three elephants. It's not like three kids or something. They all got their own little personalities, you know. <laughs> the little one wants to go investigate over here, and the other one's got to take a poop. Like That's true. they don't forget. <laughs> yeah, like you got to feed all three. <laughs> got to clean up their shit. <laughs> they probably don't. Like, yeah, it's the jungle. Yeah, it's, it's natural fertilizer. There you go. <laughs> so yeah. Elephant. So yeah, Pancock Palace. <laughs> Bangkok, if you're going to Pancock Palace, you don't need three elephants. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we've learned. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe no elephants. I was gonna say, or the they can walk. Yeah, or take like a horse. Maybe I could understand like three horses. You don't really have that many horses. I wouldn't think of the jungle though. Yeah, that's true. 
Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, like I guess. donkeys. I could <laughs> see donkeys. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, elephants. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, the dinner oh, yeah. scene. Then they get to Bangkok. Oh, yeah. Then they get to Bangkok with the, uh, with the king or the prince. Who is it? Prince, yeah. The prince, yeah. The Maharaja. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little kid. <laughs> that little kid. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Kind of seems like a fucker. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, he has a voodoo, voodoo doll strapped. Right? And, okay, that was another thing. Indiana Jones literally just showed up here. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> did he have this thing waiting? Seriously. Why did he have to dress it up like him? Yeah. <laughs> like, did he really, like, design it that much? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like he has to have the bull whip and the little leather jacket and the little leather hat. And the hat, yeah. <laughs> I guess. I guess that has to look like him. I mean, granted I'm not an authority on voodoo dolls, <laughs> but why <what I> here <laughs> I can't speak for voodoo. You just need like, you know a lock of hair, a drop <laughs> of blood, you know, something. Yeah. Something like that. But not and like look somewhat like him. But not like all full out clothes. Yeah, and also if Indy didn't wear the hat, would the voodoo doll even work? <laughs> That's a good question. Who knows? It is. What if he just took off the hat? Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, that's another thing. Also, that's is nice. voodoo dolls an Indian thing? Because I thought that was like, no, I think like that's, a Creole Cajun thing. Yeah, I think it's more like Cajun. Uh. I would think so. That's where I've heard it from. Like Jamaica kind of stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it plays a part in India. Huh. Who knows? It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. Maybe in the <laughs> 30s it was. Who knows? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so the Maybe. Dinner. Maybe. And holy shit, it's just like a long way to explain this. Uh-oh. But... India was a British colony. Really? That's why that British officer was there. Oh, man. Little education. So Jamaica. And a few other places. <laughs> so maybe that's how they learned about it. Maybe. Who knows? It's a good thought. We'll see. <laughs> but, um, what was they saying? The, uh... Or was I? On here. Yeah. The dinner or, stuff? Oh, or? the dinner scene. Yeah, the dinner scene. Um, where to start? <laughs> <laughs> the main course. <laughs> the main course. There's the soup. All of that food. I know it was supposed to be disgusting. Would you eat oh, any of it? it <laughs> if you were in their country? I would definitely not do the snake surprise. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'd do that either. Like, maybe if it was a cooked snake, but not those little baby ones. No, there's no way. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, There was Um, the cockroach, which seemed the most tolerable to me. Like, not cockroach, but the beetle. Right, yeah, that beetle thing. It it, seemed like I could probably stomach that. Yeah, because it almost, like, to me, like, I could, like trick myself and think it's like a stuffed mushroom or something like it looks like bread crust think about it it's like lobster basically probably yeah it's probably like lobster meat or something you know or whatever um the soup with the eyeballs in it that's like like, what animal like what animal has tasty eyeballs seriously (laughs) that and that's like a haunted house kind of like (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like soup with I eyeballs in that, it. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's something that in the fifth grade you get blindfolded and you have yeah. to put your hand in. Yeah. The spaghetti is like <laughs> intestines or something. It's just like that. <laughs> Ooh, is it brain? Ooh. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> I will admit that I would be tempted to try the monkey brain. I would too, man. Not gonna lie. Because that does not seem like a dessert to me. 
No, it almost <laughs> did look like Jello. It looked like Jello, yeah. But I don't think it would be Jello if we actually had monkey brains. Right, yeah. And also, <laughs> I think monkey brains is more of a savory than a sweet. <laughs> right. That seems like you need a little spoon for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It like holds your pinky out like caviar. I imagine it's like caviar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. had to have like eight monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? All with their own little bowl. Yeah, bowl <laughs> yeah. cup thing. Yeah. The stem. It's crazy. Think of the work that like that chef had to go through. <laughs> oh my god! Like it look, it almost looked like playing the apes, like the throw Type monkey. Yeah. yeah. It's like what they used or something. I wonder if like they intentionally did that. I don't know. Because you're right. It really does look like Planet of the Apes. Apes. That's true. I don't know. Maybe. Could be. Could be a part of the storyline of Planet of the Apes. <laughs> 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 like eventually. Maybe. Eventually the humans conquer the apes and eat the apes. Who knows? Well, first we have to freeze their brains because that's crazy if we don't. <laughs> Wait, freeze their brains? Well, it says chilled monkey brain. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that's true. You got to stay in the freezer for a little while. <laughs> I bet it's like ice cream or something. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like running your spoon through it. <laughs> Can I get this in a cone, please? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he hands it to you with a little napkin wrapped around it. <laughs> Can I get uh, some of that uh, shell sauce on top of the other hard chocolate? <laughs> Can I get some uh, rainbow uh, sprinkles? Thank you. Yeah, some rainbow <laughs> sprinkles, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, monkey brains. Yeah. If it's a thing, I'd be willing to try it. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound horrible. Right, yeah. I mean, it's probably like... Like, because you can eat, like, caribou cold. I imagine it's like that, kind of. There you go. Yeah. Where have you eaten caribou cold, though? I haven't, <laughs> but you can eat caribou cold. Oh. Yeah. I think, like, in Alaska. How do you know that? That, like, the, the Eskimos do it, like, in Alaska and stuff. Oh, well, yeah. okay. The more you know... <laughs> The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I'll try it. Also, in that scene, it reminded me like, okay, the Indian culture, they have like amazing food, but like the worst music. I hate that like <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a cat. Like Yeah, you know it's I mean? horrible. But they got oh. cool, like, decorations and dancers and stuff. Yeah, that's cool and everything, but just like, God, the, yeah, that the music, music sucks. I'm yeah. sorry. It does. <laughs> I'm sorry, India. I'm sorry, India. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that was in the 1930s. I love your food. I Maybe. love your, like, you know, buildings and, like, everything else about you. <laughs> but that one thing. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe their music's better. Maybe eventually it has gotten better. That was 80 years ago, so. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But it's uh, still based in that, like, my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I could see that. It's a weird style. I guess you get, <laughs> guess you get used to it if you live there. What you should do is, like, Remix it with some dub stuff. <laughs> it's probably already been done. Probably look that up probably. on YouTube. Indian music with dubstep. That would be interesting. I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are we with uh, Temple of Doom? Which came out. Uh, nine- we got to the dinner. The dinner. So I guess the next part is him trying to screw Willie Scott or the sacrifice. Oh man, the sacrifice. Dude, the sacrifice is, (laughs) that's where it gets dark. 
in the movie. Seriously, I was watching that, and like whenever the heart turned to fire, yeah, I was like, "Holy fuck, this is a kids yeah. movie!" <laughs> and like the part that got me is where they're like slowly dunking them into the lava pit. Yeah, it's not like they're real fast about it. Yeah, and like when he gets like 15 <laughs> feet away, he like burst into flames. I'm like, oh my uh, god! Still gotta go in. <laughs> yeah. Probably still alive. That'd uh, be the worst. Yeah, that's horrible. I'd rather have my heart ripped out. <laughs> yeah, like just tell me that way, right? It'd be so much easier. So yeah, that oh, part. Was... Why is that guy wearing a Hawaiian blaze around? Yeah, he is. <laughs> what is up with that? It's like he just got back from vacation. He's like, fuck. Exactly. Like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? He came back. He's yeah. talking to the guys. He's like, yeah, guys, I just got back from Hawaii. <laughs> Me and the wife. It was great. <laughs> Had a blast. Listen, Bill, uh, your name <laughs> came up today. Oh. We, did the, uh, we did the raffle today. It is a raffle. <laughs> yeah. How do they choose? How do they choose? <laughs> like, what qualifies? What's that process like? Yeah. What qualifies? Is it one of their own or is it one of the slaves? Must be one of the slaves, I imagine. Or do they go out and find somebody? I guess. I don't know. Snatch them up in the night? <laughs> Maybe Which, they got them from Hawaii. Crazy. Maybe they yeah. were just like, we gotta like farm this out. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be doing this to our own people. Hawaiians. Hawaiians. <laughs> Mohawk's got a timeshare in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Beach house. <laughs> so yeah, so that part got dark. I guess it did. That's when it like flipped the script. <laughs> it went from being like, okay, it's a little weird. To it went like, from, oh my god. <laughs> it went from ha ha short round to what? Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty fucked up. And then how he gets them caught is like he sees them beating a little kid and he like throws a rock at the guy. Yeah. Which is like good shot, by the way. What? I said, which is like good shot, by the way, too. Right, that was a hell of a throw. (laughs) (laughs) Like this whole archaeology thing doesn't work out. You could probably (laughs) play, you know, baseball or something. You could probably play for like the Braves or something. There you go. Huh? But, um, Indiana Jones doesn't have a gun throughout this whole movie. Yeah, and that part he... I think of the first. And the part, like, there's one part he reaches for his gun, but it's not there. Yeah, yeah, with a two-sword guy. Yeah. But you're right, I never... Or he could have used his gun whenever he threw the rock. I guess, but I don't, I don't remember him using the gun. No, he didn't have it, I guess. Yeah. But that's a good point, because I remember he did use guns in the other movies, right? If I'm not right? mistaken. Yeah. And there's a part where um, Moloch dudes are shooting at him on the mine cars. Yeah. You know? And he grabs the rifle from the guy, and like he starts swinging it as a club. <laughs> I was just thought, why are you shooting, man? <laughs> Why are you shooting, man? <laughs> a fucking new Not real gun. <laughs> <laughs> the part I loved was uh, when like Short Round kicked him, and like he was getting dragged along, and then Short Round ran up his back, back into the car. Oh yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> it was like a cool like Jackie Chan move. It really was. You know what I mean. <laughs> Like they were chasing it and he like ducks underneath his leg and kicks on or whatever. Oh. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> or when they had short round, like they were like playing tug of war with short round. Oh, <laughs> poor short. Poor short round, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was a. Uh, like, speaking of uh, suspenseful moments, the, uh, the other part we were going to talk about was uh, the cave when they get stuck cool. in. That chamber with the falling ceiling with the spikes. Wait, what now? The part where they they get trapped in that room. In the, in the room. In the ceiling starts coming down. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. we didn't talk about that. Yeah. Oh, well, I was just bug. saying that was like still to this day when I watch it, like that's a suspenseful part. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm st- okay, out of the three movies, like they each have like a growth thing. Yeah. Like you know, like the first one's snake, this one's bugs. Right. The next one's a rat. Yeah. If you had to endure one, which one would it be? Um. And which one would you not do? I definitely would not do the insects. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because I, even if they wouldn't bite, just like that feeling of like shit crawling oh, on you. Yeah. yeah. Um, probably most tolerable with snakes, rats second, insects third. <laughs> snakes, rats second. <laughs> yeah. Snakes uh, first, rats second. Really? I don't know. I think I could get by a snake pretty easily. I guess. And rats, like, I don't know. Rats would just be weird, man. Yeah, I think the rats, like, carry diseases. And yeah, stuff. yeah. That's another thing. <laughs> and, like, they're going to bite you. So maybe, yeah, maybe insects second. And rats third. I don't know. Would the snake be all that freaked out that you're there? I don't know, but I'd rather have that. Worst one for me, definitely snakes. That's your last? That is the one I would <laughs> never do. <laughs> like, if I looked down there, I was like, Stella, I guess we're not getting the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, well. Put the top back on, guys. <laughs> Let's mark this with the red flag so nobody else gets down here. So what would you do first? <laughs> What would I do first? Probably the bugs. The bugs? Okay. Oh, man. Bugs I couldn't do first, the bugs. rats second, snakes never. The bugs would freak <laughs> me out. Especially if it was like spiders and stuff. Right. So. The thing with the bugs, though, is like, I feel like I could deal with that better after the fact. Right. Yeah. I like, I'm going to have to like go through some, go some, through some, like, Real long therapy if I get thrown in a snake pit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit down and talk to somebody about that. My friends threw me in a snake pit. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god. <laughs> talk, you gotta help me. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Jesus. I, I, and I don't the know. rats really don't seem that bad, but again, it's in a sewer. Yeah, and like rats will like just bite just to bite. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. That's the other thing. So I, I don't I don't want to like, deal with that. They're freaked out because like the 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 water is coming or the fire or whatever. Yeah. So like they're just gonna be like chewing through you. <laughs> so fuck Which that. is crazy to think about. So fuck rats. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. In, I couldn't do the insects. That'd be a tough one. All right. But definitely insects over spiders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But yeah. The part in the first one with the tarantulas on the guy's back. Right. Oh, dude. There's no way. (laughs) There's no way. (laughs) Dude is outside of his mind. You're like, I wouldn't even get past that. (laughs) No, I would not. <laughs> that little idol or whatever he gets that that's the one I would have to turn down. Right, yeah, there you <laughs> go. I would say that would be easier to turn down the, than the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, a little piece of gold. That's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, um, Temple of Doom, the mine carts we were on. Minecart, pretty wow. awesome scene, I think. Yeah, man. Like, like even still to this day, I watch that. I'm like, no one has really done. Yeah, they haven't. They need to make a roller coaster out of it. Oh my god, that would be so cool, right? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't done that. I don't know. I really didn't look into it, but like, I watched it. I was like, this should definitely be a roller coaster. It should be if it isn't. Oh man, that would be. And like, 
Temple of Doom was popular. I don't see why somebody wasn't like, yeah, because let's do this. I think wherever it is, like Universal or something, they have an Indiana Jones ride, but I don't know what it, what's in it. Like what it does or whatever. Yeah, maybe there is a minecart part in it. I just feel like that could be like just like the whole ride. Would yeah, be just a minecart, you know. With like two minecarts, like going in. You know what I mean? Like getting really close. There you go, yeah. That'd be cool. You could like look over and see the other mine car, like, hey, look. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> you can even like, the, the front seat has the stick. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but like it has the stick. <laughs> you could have like, there could be enemies or something. You have a gun. Like that, that would like, be cool, like yeah. A, like a laser tag kind of thing. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like... A laser gun, like yeah, Ding. yeah, something like that. <laughs> and at a certain point, like you get behind like a green screen and you see the water. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. Let's do this. You you could like pop out of like the cave or whatever, and it's just like, hello, you're done. <laughs> that was the <laughs> Indiana Jones ride. Thank you. Yeah, mine car ride, Indiana <laughs> Jones. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you know we're probably talking like they probably already have a ride like that. <laughs> Someone's riding on it right yeah. now. <laughs> like, wouldn't it be cool? <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the well, mine isn't, They definitely need to make that a mine cart roller coaster. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, even now. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would work. I think so. Why not? Sounds simple. Another great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Writing it down. No. <laughs> Writing it down. <laughs> so yeah. Just so, in case we ever design roller coasters. Just in case. We'll have it in, <laughs> we'll have it written down. <laughs> Indiana Jones one. Minecart roller coaster. <laughs> Check. <laughs> but um so we get to the r- uh rope bridge scene which is oh, probably the best scene in the whole movie I think it is the best I think scene it in is. the whole movie <laughs> it is intense and you like, know how what? cool is that like I've always when wanted in the to like middle holding a sword yeah like that was like your movie poster right there <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just a wide angle of yeah. that whole bridge with like all that the people on it. That would be so cool. Right? <clears throat> and I've always wanted to like try out a rope bridge. I've never like encountered a rope bridge before. I've never encountered a rope bridge either. Right? <laughs> but if we did. That's something I need to bring back. If we did, we're going to have to do that part. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> One of us like is going to Like, if I was ever on a rope bridge, I would think that. I'd be like, I need to cut one of these. <laughs> one of us is going to have to be Willie. Say <laughs> what? As if one of us is going to have to be Willie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a wig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm, like, trying to crawl up, and, like, you grab me, and you're like, you betrayed Shiva. <laughs> <laughs> I like put my no, hand <laughs> put my hand over your heart. <laughs> Come your heart, Come your heart. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Also, now like whenever I see like a bridge or someone like climbing over it, I always think all over the ring with uh, Gandalf is like, Why are you fool? <laughs> <laughs> Fly, you fool! For real, that was like yeah, that. that's such a badass part, right? Dude, I haven't watched those movies in a while. Short round, like in Cantonese or you know whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the whole on. Hold on, lady. Yeah, we go for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hands down, probably the best scene in the movie. That rope bridge scene. Hello? Said hands down, probably the best scene. In that whole movie. I think so, yeah. Right? So. 
Also, how come none of those bad guys thought, like, he might be able to break this? <laughs> Wait, oh. Yeah, really? Like, why didn't they go I mean, after I'm glad him? that didn't happen. I yeah. really don't think about it. But they could have easily but, subdued him, I think, before he cut the maybe, rope. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Maybe he should have done, like, a few, like, you know, like, get back, get back. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> maybe. Take the samurai but approach. But still, best part. Right? And then, uh... Also, whenever <laughs> I see alligators, I always think of fever ones. <laughs> I was going to say, when, uh, <laughs> the people fell in the water, like, there were no bodies, and <laughs> they were just, uh... Yeah, no, it was just, like, ripped clothing yeah. and chicken. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> And death rolls. It's like they filmed that in a zoo or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Steve Irwin, man. Makes me think some Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, also, you know what that made me think of? What's that? Um, the one Rescue or Rangers movie where they go down under. Yeah, man, it's a good movie. <laughs> that is a good movie. I like. That I don't movie. even know if there's alligators in that movie. I think there might be. Yeah, there is at the end. There is? Yeah, because remember okay. the guy uh, is like trying to shoot the rope and there's alligators below? No, I don't remember. I, it's been so long since I watched it. Oh, dude. That's a, that's a fucking really dark movie it. too, man. Is it? Yeah. Like a dude kidnaps a child and like cages him up and then tries to shoot him at the end. Crazy yeah, movie. okay. <laughs> we'll have to watch it one day. <laughs> we will we'll put it on the list. Well, yeah, we'll make an episode of it. Rescuers Down there Under. Down Under. <laughs> down Under. Down Under. Can what you... was the name of his pet? Oh, shit. Um, like Savannah or something? Uh, Joanna. 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 <laughs> Man, now I want to watch that movie, Teaspoon. <laughs> nice <laughs> so yeah um, Temple of Doom rope man. scene probably the best <laughs> rope scene probably the best and I'm guessing people that are listening everybody's seen Temple of Doom and if you haven't I don't know what the hell you're doing I was going to say do we really need to say spoilers to all this? yeah <laughs> I mean if you don't want to listen to the whole thing just skip past this part Maybe she put something in the beginning, like, oh, spoilers, by the way. <laughs> Spoiler, <laughs> but this movie came out 30 yeah. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the cutoff? I don't know. <laughs> what, for it the movie? It would have to be, you know. What, for the movie? Like, what year or whatever, you know? Oh, what year? I don't know. I was actually watching a YouTube video, and the guy was talking about The Shining. The Shining. Oh, wait, no. What was I talking about? The Shining YouTube video? No, no, no. Okay, sorry. (laughs) MVP, (laughs) my bad. MVP? (laughs) Okay, he was talking about The Shining in the video. Mm -hmm. But he had done an E.T. video before that one. Oh, E.T. Okay. And somebody had commented on that video about, like, oh, I can't believe you spoiled E.T. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just like, what? <laughs> like, you haven't seen E.T.? I think everybody's seen E.T. Say hey, what? I think everybody's seen E.T. You'd think so, or, like, you know, it's old enough to where, like, you would just be like, oh, well, this is my fault, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just one of those <laughs> movies you have to watch. Yeah. Like the and wiz- also, like... Everyone thinks of E.T. They always say, E.T. phone home. Of course, he goes home at the end. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's the whole fucking movie. Who'd have figured? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, sorry. But, um, yeah, so after the rope scene, they get rescued by the British, uh, yeah, the British um, officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting their rifles. Yep. Rifles against arrows. Arrows. I feel like that guy should have been drinking tea. Like he should have, man. Shooting. He should have. <laughs> With like a little plate under it. Exactly. Jolly good. Indeed. Good tea. 
Yeah, so after that, they uh, rendezvous back at the village. Yeah, they go back the to the village, yep. little town. <laughs> With, uh, Which I was thinking about this. Wouldn't it be hilarious if they like came into the village and like Indy gave them a rock <laughs> and Indian Black or Indian Doc Brown was just like, oh, this isn't our rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that would have been great. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like this won't work <laughs> yeah this isn't our rock ours ours had three marks down lower <laughs> <laughs> or he's just a like, little bit more tan than brown <laughs> he's like this is just a rock yeah this is just a rock this is nothing the fuck are you talking about <laughs> this was all a metaphor <laughs> He's like, oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I didn't expect you to go look for this rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but thanks, I guess. Yeah, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Jeez, the guy can't even find the right rock. <laughs> Put the rock back in the rock holder. <laughs> what kind of archaeologist are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then so... uh it's just, it's just an iPod dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lights up the stone. Yeah. Now I can listen to my music. Right? And some sick beats. <laughs> As is Beats by Dre. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, at the end, uh, they live happy ever after? I guess they do. Right? Is that is that how it plays off? I mean, because what happens to Short Round? You never know. Right, he never shows up any of the other. Or movies. Willie. Never mentioned. Yeah. He wasn't like I once befriended an Asian kid. Like he he never said that in the third <laughs> movie. <laughs> like he never go. He like he doesn't like go to the university and like Short Rounds taking classes. See, short round, short round should have been in the new Indiana Jones. I think that would have made it better instead of Shia LaDouche. Really? I think so. Like, have short round as like that character? Yeah, just like he comes back, kind of thing. I don't First know. of all, an Asian greaser. How cool is that? An Asian greaser. <laughs> like, oh yeah, dude. How like, badass would that be? Sh- short round like rides a Harley. Oh man! And he has a switchblade. <laughs> like in a comb. leather jacket. Yeah, has the switchblade comb. That would be cool. Yeah, <laughs> I can dig it. But no, that would be cool. But they didn't. Yeah, that. that didn't happen. They added aliens and Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so. So yeah, well, that they did. So that is our recap, review, Temple of Doom. Recap, review. Yeah, I think you we know, both liked it. Yeah, we're gonna have to decide on a movie for next week. I think we're gonna try to make this a weekly thing. And I mean, let us know if you want to, like people, people in the audience. Let us know if uh, if you want to do a movie. Like, let us know. Pick a movie. We'll see what we can do. There you go. Pick a movie. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we might make this a weekly thing. Pick a movie, see if we. I like it. I like this idea. This, I, don't know. I like this idea <laughs> of like. All right. A movie recap, like of a, a classic movie, or maybe okay. something different. Okay. I don't know. It could be different every time. That's true. Do you like a new movie? I was at Walmart the other day and I bought Birdman, so I'll be watching that. Dude, I still need to see that. I really need to see that. And uh, Looks so good. <laughs> Whiplash, I need to see. Oh, yeah. Did you see Birdman yet? Did you watch it? No, not yet. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I just got it the other day, and I had to watch Temple of Doom. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm booked. I'm booked, exactly. And way too much on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw. Uh, I didn't see any new movies this week, but I saw two new trailers by accident. Um, by accident? Yeah, like they're on TV kind of thing. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't intend on it. But uh, 
Uh, the first one is Paul Blart 2 Mall Cop. What? Yeah, so that's happening. <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't really need to explain. You know? I get Okay, I will say this. I'm glad Kevin James is working. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I wish he was doing something else. Yeah. But... I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much how it sounds. <laughs> Except this time, right, I, exactly. I, think, I think he's in Las Vegas this time at a hotel, like one of those big hotels. Oh. So it's going to be like that. <laughs> so. Jesus. <laughs> and it, like. I bet you there's a part where he falls into, like, a oh my slot God. machine. No. I and was just... it, you know, turns up three, like, bells <laughs> that say you win. All the three sevens. <laughs> Yeah, the 37s, and then the coins come out on the bad guy. That will probably happen, because a lot of this trailer <laughs> was Fat Man Fall Down thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Jeez. So. <laughs> and then uh, the second trailer I saw, which I'm a little worried about, is oh boy. a movie called Get Hard with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Right. And it's basically like Will Ferrell's the white guy, obviously. Um, obviously. <laughs> what? what? You don't fucking say. <laughs> but he's pretty much, he plays like a white guy. Like, a, not stuck up, but he's, you know, a regular yeah, stereotype yeah. of a white guy. And then yeah. Kevin Hart, like, teaches him how to be hood and all this shit and it's basically like his character from uh, the other guys, Gator. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much what it's kind of leaning towards. Okay. But it's, yeah, it's basically Kevin Hart teaches Will Ferrell <laughs> how to act hip. So basically, somebody watched the other guys, saw Will Ferrell as a parent, was like, let's make a movie. Basically. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. And your problem with it is you can't teach anybody to be street. No, my problem with it is <laughs> is uh, the other guy's like that point exactly. Like, it's just a character he did in a movie, and someone thought that was funny, and it's like, I'm going to expand this. Right, right. You know what I mean? And it's an it easy win. for a couple of minutes in a movie. Yeah. For a whole movie. And I mean, it's an easy win for Hollywood. I mean, Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. Right. You know, so people are gonna go see. Oh man, Kevin Hart's pretty popular right now. He is, so. but he's he's at that point where he's in everything. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. If we'll they see. need a black funny guy, <laughs> that's who we were calling. They need a new black funny guy. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Hart on one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those were the two trailers I saw. Wasn't really impressed. I actually saw um, a new movie. Well, it's not new. What'd you but say? New to me, I guess. I was uh, over at a friend's house, and there's a Nicolas Cage movie called Joe. Joe? Joe, yeah. It came out, I don't know, a couple years ago. Oh, man. No, actually, two years ago. I don't know if I heard of it. Yeah. Joe? Okay. Anyway. Was it good? Oh, uh, absolutely horrible. Well, <laughs> <laughs> just another Nicolas Cage movie. It's not even, like, it's trying to be, like, this, like, it came out around the time where um, movies about guys with a dark past mm -hmm. were, like, you know, they have to, like, help out somebody, and that makes them, like, you know, become the bad guy or whatever. Right, right. It's basically that premise, like, he used to be a con, and then, like, now he's, like, on the straight and narrow. Oh, man. And this little kid, like, comes along, and he's got to <laughs> help him out, but it makes him do bad things. <laughs> yeah. So not that great. Well, like, nothing happens in the movie. 
all talk. But not good they, talk. Like, you can tell how they like edited it because there's like at one point he has a girlfriend, then like a couple scenes later she's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> she, just no she just vanishes. She just vanishes. She just vanishes, pretty much. Yeah, basically, like there's no like, oh, Kathy's not here anymore because she <laughs> because <filled her blank. laughs> yeah, she was gone. Ugh. Jesus. And then there's like Nicholas two Cage, villains, man. and one they barely even talk about. But it, like at the end, he's like, "Oh my god, we've been through so much together." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Nicholas Cage. It was horrible. Jesus. Yeah, I'm still waiting for to... my friends Netflix. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did see a new movie. Oh yeah. Yeah, the interview. <laughs> Wasn't the interview, that interview? Which was that? The Seth Rogen, James Franco. The uh, Kim Jong Un, the interview. Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't that good. You saw that? Yeah, it was on Netflix. Okay. I watched it. At, my aunt has Netflix. I watched it over there. But cool. uh, yeah, it wasn't that good, man. And it wasn't good. Really? It had, yeah, it had its moments, but it was just like, you know, I yeah. don't know. You have to watch it and let me know if you're interested in watching it. I'll do that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's see. All right. A um, few other things I want to talk about before we get out of here. Justin Bieber's getting roasted this year. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned that to you before. Uh, that is... Like, this going to be a shooting gallery. Like, <laughs> See, this is what I'm afraid is going to happen. I'm afraid they're going to have, like, well, uh, people Justin Bieber knows. Oh, yeah. And it's just going to be, like, all in good fun kind of thing. Like, there'll probably be a few harsh jokes, but it'll all be, you know. He'll pretty be able, mild, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I want people that hate Justin Bieber to roast him. There you go. That would be the that, ideal situation. That is what I want. <laughs> that's what the people want. <laughs> but, but it's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. No. And they're going to... Like... It's, it's going to be misleading. Like, I don't know if, he, I don't know if I'll even watch it, really. I probably won't. Like, like, I want to just because I'm like, oh, I hope they tear him up and all that shit, but... Right, but they're not going through. Yeah. It's going to be one of those things. There's not going to be any, like, real hard jokes. No. Probably not. It'll probably... And supposedly, I don't know if you've ever, like, looked up anything about those roasts, but, like, they have, like, final say on jokes. Oh, really? I don't know. I can see that. I don't know if it's true. Like, they pass it on, like, is this okay kind of thing? Kind of like that, yeah. Like, oh, you can talk about this subject, but not that subject. Oh, man. I could see that. That's kind of crazy, though. Like, if it's a roast, you want it to be, like, all out, you know? Yeah, man. I want to be raw. But, I don't know. So. Also, I've noticed that, like, Justin Bieber has a lot more tattoos than I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like, I don't seriously. know. I think they're just all, I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are pointless tattoos. They're all shitty tattoos. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like you just got them. Tribal lettering. That's yeah. Like I once got shot at a KFC. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Horrible shit like that. <laughs> like he has tribe tattoos and they yeah. probably all have some stupid meaning behind them. Right. Something philosophical. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like, know. Like why is Justin Bieber even still a thing, you know? I don't know, man. Like, I don't know why he's famous. What was the last album they put out? I don't. I I think he put one out last year or so, but I just don't. You yeah. think he'd still be doing good and he wouldn't have to do a roast? Yeah, yeah. You would think maybe he is running out of money. He's like you know, most of those people that they roast, it's kind of like like David Hasselhoff, Pam Anderson, <laughs> you know, William like Shatner. 
Yeah, with him, Chad, and Aaron. Like, they're not doing anything. <laughs> That's true. Maybe he needs money. Maybe. If so, maybe this is hmm. a downfall. Oh, man. <laughs> so they're too excited, though. This may ruin his career. This may be it. Maybe. <laughs> But I don't know. We only hope. I'll probably still watch it, <laughs> even though I don't want to. I, <laughs> yeah, like I'll probably still watch it. I will, man, because I, you know, I, I'm expecting it to be what it is going to be. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Yeah. We'll see when that day comes around. Which I think is like in September or something. So what now? I think it's like in September, the roast. Oh really? Yeah, something like ways away. Yeah, for real. So I don't know. Um, but a few more topics here. Uh, marijuana was legalized in D.C. last week, or last Thursday. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for real, and uh, nothing happened. Like <laughs> the city didn't blow up. No, there wasn't any panic. No. You know what I mean? People are thinking and it's like, like... Was it on the news? Like, did people line up? <laughs> no, there was nothing. Like, people just took it as like, oh, that's cool. Kind of thing. Really? Like, there was nothing. Like, <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, people were so worried about it. I think people expect, like, it's going to be like a Black Friday kind of situation. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. And people are tripping over nothing. Nothing happened. And Man. to be honest, I haven't even heard anything yet. Like, everything's going well, I guess. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So, yeah. One step further. Way to go, DC. And, uh, it's a cool little mark in history. The history books. Oh. So, yeah. Way to go, DC. And I found <laughs> out that this is the most... Like, Washington, DC, since it's been legalized, you can carry the most out of all the legalized states. It's what? You can carry the most... Uh, like we don't like you can oh, carry wow. you can carry up to two ounces in Washington D.C. Is that a lot? Yeah, I mean that's like two sandwich bags, but I, I I couldn't imagine someone walking around with two ounces of weed. Really? Okay. Yeah. Like, so. Okay, I don't smoke weed, so like, <laughs> how much? Like, how long could that last? I guess. I don't know. I mean, because like people, I think people are different. I mean, some people smoke constantly, and some people just kind of do it at night. So, I mean, it's just kind of... Okay, all right. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's always, but I, I'd imagine it'll last quite a while. Two okay. ounces. So, I mean, that's like... Well, like you said, two sandwich yeah, bags. Yeah, two sandwich so, like, bags. That, so, yeah. That seems like a lot. Yeah. So, so yeah. Cool little... That's cool, though. Fun fact of the day. Um, uh, where am I at here? Oh, here we go. Uh, there was a dress. Did you hear about this dress thing? I saw it on YouTube, but I like didn't watch it. Yeah, I, it, it's retarded. Um, what is it? It's one of these things that broke the internet. Like this was everywhere. <laughs> like people were talking about this yeah. everywhere. And it was just, I think it was like a Reddit page article. Um, but it was a picture of a dress that a woman put up. And I think it was a black and blue dress. Yeah. But she took a picture at a funny lighting, I think. And it turned out that it looked white and gold. Okay, yeah. So it was just a huge argument what color the dress was. That's it. Oh my god. For a whole day. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So that's uh <laughs> That's what we're up to. That's yeah. I think I'm gonna make like a segment or something called like what the fuck of the week news. W Okay, yeah, yeah. Cause that's like that's a definitely w in that category. Yeah, that's a WTF moment, right? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I think I'll work on that too segments we gotta we gotta have that we gotta have the sh short round background <laughs> oh man but uh All right. last thing i want to get to here uh just a quick shout out i, w I was never really a big star trek fan but uh leonard nimoy 
passed away this week. Man. Who was Mr. Spock. Do you know how old he was? Uh, I think he was 83, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah, so he was, he was up there. I was going to say, like, I mean, that dude was pretty cool. He kind of right. lived a full life. So. Right, and he, uh, you know, he made history. He, uh, Definitely, is. Yeah. He's got his own quotes, like, live long and prosper. And? It's a quote from him. I think he invented the... You see uh, that New York Times article, though? Of what? It was titled, like, Leonard Nimoy gets beamed up or something like that. I don't think I saw that. I don't know. It was just kind of in bad taste, I thought. Oh, really? Like, I, I knew what they were going for, but it was like... Like, I, don't, I forget the actual quote, but it was something along the lines like, God beamed Leonard Nimoy up or something. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I mean, I know. it must be like maybe for like a huge Star Trek fan. Maybe it's. I guess I don't know. You know what I mean, I mean, I was never really a Star Trek fan. More Star Wars. I lo- like. I love I like Star, Star Wars, Wars a yeah. lot more. Star than Wars. I've is, watched Star Trek. Yeah. Star Wars is awesome. That was the best. Maybe right. we should do that next week. I don't have any Star Wars movies. Ah. Uh. The only one I have is Episode Two, which is a shitty one. <laughs> <laughs> why that one I don't know like I don't know why I have that and it's like still in That's perfect condition because I've never really watched it Ugh. yeah so maybe we should do that we could do that maybe maybe we I don't try know. that well, I'll have to look at what movies we got there you go because we're definitely going to have to do one soon where a movie I hate and you like, or a movie you hate and I like, kind of thing. Okay, okay. But we'll, yeah, we'll I'm sure we can find it. one. Right, we'll get to it. You'll find out next week. So there you go. Tune right? in. <laughs> Tune in, and I think uh, I think my new schedule is gonna be on Mondays and Wednesdays because Parrish is gonna be a frequent guest too, if I'm not mistaken. That's cool. So, I'm going to try to do two podcasts a week, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but if not, you know, once a week is fine. I'm still keeping that up. At least, yeah. So, but yeah. Um, just like anything to add, Teaspoon? Uh, no, not really. Just, you know. Okay. Thanks okay. for listening, everybody. Right, right. Thanks for having me on. No problem. You're, uh gonna be on a lot more so all right (laughs) i it'll probably just forward to it right it'll just morph into like a host co-host thing it won't be like oh this is my guest (laughs) it'll be just like teaspoon i start demanding like odd things (laughs) (laughs) like you must call me sir (laughs) sir spoon I want a limousine, and uh, inside of that limousine has to be 32 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like my water chilled. Hey, I want my water chilled with one lemon. <laughs> and oh, yeah. and stevia. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, it'll be fun. I'm uh, I'm excited to have you on. Definitely. Maybe right. maybe one day we can work out to we're in the same room. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you like, know? <laughs> it's going to be a high-def day, like a high-definition. Not high-def like the show we talked about, but right, right. everything's going to be crystal clear. Definitely. <laughs> the day we have two microphones. <laughs> but, <Ooh>. I mean, it, <laughs> but it doesn't sound bad. That's good, that's good. Like, as far as a phone... Uh, connector goes, adapter, sounds pretty yeah. good. So, oh yeah, hopefully that'll come up soon, maybe. Right, but it sounds it sounds fine right now. I mean, well, that's good. Right, work with what you got and all that. Definitely. <laughs> so yeah, so, better to do it than not do it. What? I said better to do it than not do it. True, very true. But, um, 
Yeah, I think that is it, guys. We're going to be getting up out of here. Um, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that. I uh, wish I'd been getting a few likes here and there, which is good. No dislikes yet, so I'm happy about that. I know that day's coming soon, probably. <laughs> I'll get those people in the com. <laughs> I'll get those people in the comment section, going at it. There you go. But um, yeah. Until next time, guys. Join us next week for the D cast. Peace out. Till we meet again.